Is now Kevin Hassett, former chair of the Council of Economic Advisors in the Trump administration, author of the most important book of the century. It's called The Drift, <laughs> Stopping America's Slide to Socialism. It is interesting, Kevin, uh, the, whatever the Fed does, whatever gibberish comes out of various Fed heads, the markets uh, mm -hmm. pricing in lower interest rates. The 10-year, uh, which is the bellwether, has gone from just over 5%, literally, I don't know, a month ago, maybe less. Today, right. it closed about 420. That's a huge, huge drop. And on top mm -hmm. of that, the index of leading indicators, you showed me your chart, that uh, is up 19 straight months, all right? That index, I mean, it's fallen 19 straight months. That's a bad sign. The manufacturing ISM mm -hmm. fell again today. I think that's the ninth or 10th. So inflation is soft, interest rates coming down, oil coming down. Is there a recession in the cards? That's going to be the next question. Right. I think there probably is a recession coming in the next six months. You know, the leading indicators have never uh, dropped so many times in a row without there being a recession. And so if we don't have a recession, then it'll be kind of a data miracle. And the other thing is that the inflation dropping is something that's consistent with a big fall in demand, as, as you know. I mean, there's certainly not a big increase in supply under, you know, Bidenomics. And so if there's a big fall in demand, then prices drop as well. And so my guess is that, yeah, we're looking at a recession that's probably a Q4 or Q1 kind of thing. I mean, I don't want to be the Grinch who stole Christmas, but you look at another <laughs> indicator, Kevin. Um, uh, OPEC Plus, I just think of it as the Saudis, but it's the Saudis and the Russians. So they're going to take another million barrels per day out of production. That will make it, I think, five million plus. But all prices have come down quite a lot. Uh, from there, you know, running mm -hmm. up to 100 uh, not, just a few months ago when the Israeli war broke out and so forth. And um, they're falling. Brent crude, which is global crude, fell under $80 a barrel. Now, again, to me, that looks mm -hmm. like a lot of softness in demand all around the world. Europe, USA, including China, Kevin Hassett. I mean, it just seems like there's a syn right. synchronous drop-off in economic activity. Right. I think that's exactly right. And, and one of the things that I can say about, like, the Saudis' decision or OPEC's decision on oil is that they have a really big, well-financed, sophisticated economic team. And they know that if a recession happens, then the price of oil can drop down, you know, 40 to 30 even, you know. And, mm -hmm. and, and they're worried about that. If they're cutting oil right now, it's because they see global demand softening. And I think that it's something that I expected to happen a little sooner. Uh, I think you were more optimistic than me, and you were right about that this year. Uh, but I I think that the consumers are they're out of money you know they, they don't have any COVID savings left over uh, they've borrowed to the max on their credit cards and the interest rate on the credit cards is like 25 percent and so I think that going into next year is a serious serious headwind the final thing is that it tends to be the case in election years that people tend to sort of take their their risk off they, they take their cards off the table because they want to wait and see is it this guy or that guy that wins and so you'll see capital spending drop a lot next year too and so i think that there's so many forces headed south that it'd be almost impossible to avoid a recession now i got a solution lower tax rates across the board That's kevin right. has it all right stop creeping socialism Thanks, the guy's right yes great to see you